Okay, hi everybody. Um, I'm gonna be facing this way just because the mic is in my face, but this is gonna be kind of a weirder video or a different video, I would say. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to start this. This video is pro it's not scripted, it's not planned out, it's kind of just like talking to talk. Why I'm making this video is because, I don't know, recently I've been finding myself kind of just watching videos of people talking about how they feel about certain situations or just emotions in general i don't know i'm fine i feel like i'm in this limbo of just i'm confused literally confused i like don't know what's going on at all like i never know what's going on <laughs> so this is how the video is gonna go if the audio is pretty loud let me know um i can always put it back I don't know. I don't know if this is better or something, but I'm not gonna I'm not planning to talk loud. I would say this is kind of more of a serious video. Not really serious. I'm just gonna be talking I'm not gonna joke around, I would say. I'm also using my webcam, so if the quality is bad, I apologize. I don't have the money to even afford anything nice. So yeah, let's just get into it. So you guys read the title. I wanted to talk about loneliness and anything regarding to loneliness or the word lonely loneliness or anything just relating to that this video is going to be unedited and i'm just going to post the clip and we'll see how it goes i i don't know so anyways i might edit it a little bit but we'll see we'll see so i wanted to talk about this specific topic and because sorry i'm gonna be stuttering a lot now now that i know i'm not gonna edit it but i wanted to talk about this because i feel like i've kind of grown up to be in this mindset mindset of being alone like i feel like i always grew up kind of alone and now in my adult years i'm 22 i'm kind of okay with feeling or being alone i would say but i don't want to be feeling like that because it's human nature to want relations or human connection and you should never accept that you're okay with being alone but i i really am okay with being alone so anyways i wanted to backtrack and talk about um i guess my past and then see if we could find like um some sort of connection as to why i'm okay with being alone so i I'm the daughter of two immigrant um, parents. Yeah, damn. Uh, my dad is from Switzerland originally, originally, and my mom's from Japan originally. And long story short, they joined a cult. Maybe I could talk about that another day. It's really interesting, but at the same time, it's not that long. But at the same time, I don't want to talk about it now. Uh, they joined a cult, so they moved to the U.S. to join it. <laughs> and um they were married and then they had kids so my mom has family in japan my dad has family in switzerland um none of their family lives in the u.s with us so already off the bat i was kind of just like you know it was just me and my family basically like my siblings and my parents basically growing up and a lot of people might not think that's a big deal but when you don't have grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, you kind of, it's a different feeling, I would say. It's very, it's weird, you know, like, I, I, <laughs> when people try to relate to this feeling, I would say, I don't think they could relate to it fully because they don't know what it's like. Like, I have a cousin in Switzerland, let me take a walk. I'm getting lightheaded because I'm, I'm getting nervous. Whenever I get nervous, I get lightheaded. Can you not look, please? Okay, hold up. Okay, so I have a cousin in Switzerland. We visited, I think, around... I would say, I think last year, last year, 2023, in around maybe fall time, I would say. Not fall, maybe spring, summer, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure but we visited and I thought I liked this cousin I'll be so honest I thought me and this cousin were like um 
most similar i would say or not similar but we connected because i don't as i said before i didn't grow up with aunts uncles cousins whatever so i never had a relationship with any like extended family is that what it's called i don't know so i thought me and this cousin were like on good terms or whatever and then this visit kind of solidified that everyone on like that is family is just a stranger straight up and they're just a stranger and i will never ever become close with them in the way that family should be but anyways so my brother my little brother he went to switzerland for i think a couple months to study german high german and if you don't know switzerland speaks swiss german which is like for example like in mexico they speak spanish but in guatemala they'll also speak spanish but their spanish is very different like it's similar but different does that make sense like they everyone has their different variations of their language so anyways he went to switzerland to um, learn high german and during that time so he was there for three months and then the last month i and oh my god let me <laughs> let me make this make sense my brother and my parents went to switzerland okay because my brother my little brother one um went there to go learn high german and so then me my little sister and my boyfriend met up with them the last month to go um just go to switzerland because there was also a wedding um i had a cousin that was getting married so we were invited so we went and it just it worked out so we went and this has nothing to do with me this this particular part of the story this is why it's kind of it's kind of fucked anyways it like i said before this is not scripted this is not planned this is just me talking out of my ass so um my brother obviously just freshly 18 uh my parents were with him and my cousin at the time that i i said before i thought i was pretty close with him he was kind of bitching being like oh like why like to my parents being like why like why are you guys like with him like he should be alone he should learn everything by himself like he should learn everything by himself i learned everything by myself and at the time my parents were teaching him how to go on the bus to the school and then back um because it's a different country my brother doesn't speak the language so um anyways so my cousin was bitching to my parents and my parents made the argument that you know who are you to say that you did everything by yourself you had grandparents you had aunts you had uncles you know like your mom his mom is my my dad's sister like you know your mom had everyone to help her with kids you know and my parents didn't my parents had nobody to help with us so yeah it was just like it's kind of crazy when it when people say like oh like i i can do everything by myself but like you had help you know and i'm not saying that my parents didn't help me or no one helped me in my life to be by myself independent i would say but it's kind of different you know because when I was growing up, my parents were really busy. My parents made the risk of starting their own business rather than just working. Um, so when starting a business, especially if you came from nothing or you're starting something from the ground up, you usually just don't have a lot of money and money doesn't come in for a long, long time. And we're very fortunate that my parents do make a pretty good amount of money now um but at the time my parents were always busy like i i don't think i ever remember a time where my parents were here (laughs) for my birthday like they were just really busy um so anyways my parents were always busy they were always gone and if when we were younger like super young they would have to take us with them to go work and you know they're always working and when we were older we could stay home without going with them it was just me and my siblings and my siblings and i were close but we're not close in ways where we would hang out with each other we would like actively choose to talk to each other or whatever we're like we're not that close but we are we're close i guess you would say but not to the point where like we're we're friends we're not friends we're just family and that's just always the way it's been so 
even with that, it was kind of just, you know, it, it's fucked up to say, but I feel like I was destined to just, just be by myself and just be alone, I would say. And then with friends, friendships, we had like a couple family friends I was really close to and then those lasted for a bit and then I would like make new friends and then they would last for a little bit and then you know I don't think I've had a friendship last longer than a year I would say I felt like my entire childhood was just new people all the time I never we never moved I've lived in the same house my entire life but I don't know what it is friendships I've never maintained a friendship ever like let me take another sip of water hold up (laughs) I'm sorry I, I can't bro So, I never maintained a friendship. Like, I don't remember a childhood friend that, you know, like, we were really, really close other than, like, family friends, but those family friends don't live close. So, I I think when you don't live close with your friend or you don't have an excuse or a reason to see your friend all the time, it's hard to maintain that same level of friendship, I would say. So, a lot of my childhood friends just it just didn't work out because we don't live near each other it's hard to be friends with someone when you know it's hard it's hard to meet up especially at the time when I couldn't drive at the time so it was hard to find reasons to hang out with that person but anyways and then moving on to elementary school I felt like elementary school I was always super shy um I didn't really talk and when I did talk it was it was weird. I, I No one wanted to talk to me. I was weird. I was a weird kid. And then, so, kindergarten through fourth grade, I went to the same elementary school. And then for fifth grade, my parents sent me to this, it's basically, like, STEM-based school. It's for, like, smart kids. I don't know why they fucking sent me there. I'm not smart in any way. Academically, I'm not smart. And so I got kicked out of that school for being stupid. <laughs> So then I went back to my original elementary school for sixth grade and during that sixth grade I literally felt like the top of the world. I don't know what it was but like a confidence boost just lit under my fucking ass like a fire lit under my ass or something but I felt so in my element. I had friends everywhere like I felt like I could talk to anyone. I felt like I felt like me for the first time I would say and Anyways, sixth grade ended, my parents sent me to a different middle school than them, and I had to make new friends, and it fucked me up. And then I, so during that middle school, once I promoted and went to high school, I went back to the high school where all my middle, or my friends from elementary school went to. And obviously, if you're not friends with them for two years, it doesn't last, like I said before, so... The friends I made in 6th grade were not my friends in high school. So, I had to make new friends again. So, in high school, I reconnected with a couple people that I didn't really get close to. And then we talked. And then I met one person that meant a lot. A lot to me. But it didn't work out. So, long story short. Sorry for rambling is that I never had, like, a full-on close connection with someone, friendship-wise, I would say. Um, I dated a couple times in high school, broke up with them after, like, a week or two. I just, I don't, I don't have time for, for boys, I'll be so honest. Like, like, if they have any flaws that I don't want to deal with in the future, I'm, I'm done. I'm dipping, bro. I don't give a fuck. But friends, I don't know what it was. Like, I was always so keen on finding someone that meant a lot to me, friendship-wise. Like, I wanted a good girlfriend. Like, I really just wanted someone to trust. So when I felt like I could be me with, I wanted to feel like, you know, like, I wanted someone with me. Event Like, for, for life, I would say. And then I thought I found that in high school. It just didn't work out, but whatever. And then... After high school, I didn't go to college because I just didn't want to. I felt like college was kind of a waste of money for me because I'm not smart. 
and I did not put that much effort in high school. I did the bare minimum, and I passed. I graduated. Also, COVID kind of helped with <laughs> graduating as well. Um, I graduated 2020, which is the peak COVID, so I didn't have to do my seven-page research paper, so it was really good, but at the same time, it wasn't. So, I don't know, and I feel like when you go to college, you meet people, or if you go to, like, you have work, can you meet people? I had a couple part-time jobs, and I met a lot of people, but I stopped being friends with a lot of them, because it's just, I think I'm just picky with friends. I really do think I'm really picky, because I I want someone that's meant for me, and I just haven't found that person yet. I feel like it's it's stupid i'm not religious in any way but i feel like god kind of is like telling me like showing me key characteristics of people that kind of just highlights why it won't work maybe i'm just making that shit up and that's kind of why i stop friendships or whatever and i ghost people a little too often but that's just what it is but anyways i just feel like like i like being alone but I don't like feeling like that that's my only option I would say like I I have a boyfriend of course sorry fuck I have a boyfriend and he means absolutely everything to me but sometimes I want to talk about my boyfriend to someone else and there's just no one else to talk about it with and it's kind of sad because I'm just like I feel like my boyfriend's kind of like the best thing in my life i'm gonna fucking cry i love that man <laughs> dude i love that man holy shit but i feel like he's the best thing to ever happen in my life other than my dog but hold on i shouldn't have brought that up i should not have brought that up okay but like sometimes you want to share the best thing in your life with someone but you just don't have anyone to share that with and my boyfriend doesn't live close to me whatsoever like it's a 40 minute drive which is not a long distance but it's like if something were to happen to him i wouldn't be able to get there in time and that drives me insane so sometimes i just want someone like if i was feeling like awful i could just go over and like you know like just be friends or whatever but <sighs> i don't know if that's realistic i'll be so honest i don't know if that's realistic but whatever i i tried everything bro i'm gonna be honest i did all the crap i did i got friendship apps i even tried to get bumble bff but i'm banned because i got banned on bumble a long time ago <laughs> uh, a long time ago i i i took a picture or not i didn't take a picture i i showed like a picture it was like a meme of james charles's butt i'm so sorry james charles that's fucked up of me but it was like e like highly edited to make the butt look really big and i thought it was really funny so i posted it on bumble and i got banned so you know i'm also banned on tinder so you know <laughs> no but i i got boo i got like meetup apps i got all these friendship apps um they just didn't work out like i um on boo i met someone but I don't like when someone doesn't have the same humor as me because I feel like some I don't want to offend someone and I feel like my humor um I don't want my humor to be the reason why someone's offended you know like I I want someone that completely aligns with me because I don't want to hurt someone that dry, like that it kills me bro I'm not empathic but I feel like it hurts me more than it hurts them I guess you would say and I can't get over it I can't get over hurting someone like emotionally like that's just it just i can't do it bro i really can't so that person and i that i met on boo just didn't work out but that's fine um my last resort was to go on reddit and i made a form and i was like loki loki for discord friends like i really need a friend like preferably a girl but i'm fine with anything but loki i really want a girl I met someone, um, it was going good for a while, and then, um, something happened, and it just, it was just, it, it just couldn't continue, in my opinion, so, like, don't say I haven't tried, bruh, and it's like, 
oh, go out, talk to people. I don't want to, I'm not an extrovert, Miss Girl. I'm not. I'm not an extrovert whatsoever. And I don't want to get an extroverted friend. I want someone that, you know, is like me, but maybe a better version of me, I guess you would say. But I don't want to meet someone that has friends i know that's fucked up to say i don't want to be friends with someone who has friends i want to be like the only person in their life i know that's fucked that's selfish as shit but that's what i want bitch i want someone that like genuinely like me and them mean everything to each other like i want to be like the highlight of their life i know it's fucked up like they can get a significant other i don't care but like i want to be the only friend i want to be the only friend and i think it's also because i feel like it's easier i don't want to join a group i don't want to like ever like intrude on someone's friend group i i don't want to be that person like i already feel so insecure about everything in my life and myself i don't want to feel like like, this hassle of trying to, I don't know, pretending to be happy, or not, whoa, whoa, pretending to be someone I'm not, and I feel like that happens a lot when I'm in a group setting, so I just want to have one friend, and I'm good, but anyways, let's get back to the topic, Jesus, Jesus, um, so yeah, um, at the end of the day, I'm okay with being alone. I really do enjoy it. I love it. In fact, I love playing games by myself. I know I feel like I wanted to talk about that because I fa- I've everyone I've met has told me that they hate playing games by themselves. I love it. I love it. I adore it actually. I prefer it preferably. I actually do. I love going to the store by myself. I love going thrifty by myself. I love that when I'm mentally unstable. I can fix myself. I don't need anyone to help me. Sorry, I just burped in my mouth, but ugh. But I love that I can just I think I just like being me. Or like I like that I could be me with me. You know? I feel like you can't really be you sometimes with other people and that's really hard on me, I think you would say. Or I would say. Um but at the same time, it's like, I fear that one day it's going to get too much that I'm just by myself too much or by alone by myself a lot too much. I feel like that does bad things to your mind or whatever, in my opinion. And also, I always think the worst and I feel like, what if my boyfriend leaves me and then, I, then I'm alone? Then I'm actually fucking alone. Like, I'm alone forever. And that sucks that really fucking sucks bro and i don't know this is always like i don't if you guys hear like me sliding off my chair i swear i'm not farting it's literally my chair i promise you if i farted i would be uncontrollably laughing but i'm not am i but i always bring this or this topic down to like or no my lack of friends i always like compare it to if I get married, because I do believe in marriage, I don't care if you do, like, I'm not gonna fight you, I'm not gonna try to convince you that marriage is to each their own, you're allowed to have your own opinion, you're allowed to have your own beliefs, um, yeah, like, I have nothing wrong with someone who doesn't believe in marriage, I don't really care, um, but for me, it's like, I think about my boyfriend's side, and how many people he'll have, like, as his best man, or his, like, yeah, best men, or whatever, I don't know what they're called, or whatever, and then I look at my side, and I just don't see anyone, and that makes me, like, oh, that makes me sob, that makes me really sob, because I'm just, like, like, I don't know, and it's, like, I do, I do it to myself, I feel like I get lazy with friendships, I feel like I'm too lazy to, you know, build connections, I think, because obviously friendships are not supposed to be picture perfect all the time, um, there's hardships, there's always situations you have to go through, and that's why communication is key, it's truly key, but at the same time, it's like, I kind of know when 
me and a person don't or are not gonna work but at the same time i feel like friendships are very different in comparison to relationships i feel like relationships if there's a flaw you see that is just you can't get past it i think that's valid but with a friendship i feel like there's there's ways to get past it in my opinion i think friendships are just bonded you know hold up i need water real quick i don't know like i said before i feel like it all connects down to my childhood and the way i grew up and was raised i just i just didn't connect with anyone i never fully like had someone i connected with on a way that i felt like we were equal i had like i said before i had someone didn't work out so it's whatever but it just feels like am i gonna be like this forever part of me thinks i should just get the fucking boob app again but i think it's so weird it's so embarrassing because it's like if someone from my school is on there and they see me but at the same time i'm in the trenches with this situation and i'm trying to apply for part-time jobs it's not fucking happening oh fuck like i like girl like and the place i work at now just has old people i'm not gonna be friends with the old fuck like i, I just can't like it's different life stages and i just want someone to like live with or not live with damn but like just go through life with i would say but it's hard bro like i don't know like i think sometimes it it comes down to social media as well i only feel like super alone when it comes down to social media because you see all these people with these friend groups especially when they're friend groups that you feel like you could fit in with and you're just like oh like that that seems nice that seems so like just everything you want and then you just feel like shit because you're just like why can't i find people like that but to find people like that you need to make effort and i know i need to make effort but i don't want to make effort but that's just me i'm just lazy as fuck but <sighs> and then part of me is also like with career wise like i want to be so like okay with my career before i even try to make friendships because i feel like having a friendship now would ruin everything but at the same time that's just an excuse um, I feel like I ended a lot of friendships because I was just really insecure in my path in life. So I stopped talking to everyone. And then obviously when you don't put an effort with someone and they see that, they notice that they're not going to want to stick around like they have other people in their life. And it's valid, but whatever. I don't know. I feel like... I feel like it's okay to feel alone or want to be alone but it really does like suck when that's your only option i would say i would i don't know oh god i feel like you know the thing is i try to record this type of video three times before and it was just really hard for me to get past talking about my feelings because i don't talk about my feelings with anyone in general because it's just it's it hurt like i just can't do it it just it makes me uncomfortable because i don't know there's two different types of situations when i talk about my feelings it's like one either um you talk about it and it means a lot to you like talking about what you're talking about means a lot to you like it's a big thing for you and then they don't take it as serious as you like as serious as you see the situation and it just fucks it fucks you up so that's number one number two it's like you don't want someone to think that you're not okay actually ugh, i don't know you just don't want to want someone to feel like they have to walk on eggshells around you like i f sometimes i feel like it's redundant to talk about your feelings with someone that makes you feel better because it's like once you talk about it then they feel like they have to change to make you feel better but it's like the whole point was just to tell you you know and you just want someone to listen at the end of the day you just want someone to listen at the end of the day to see you i guess recognize that you're not doing great i would say so i don't know talking about my feelings is really difficult for me because it's just 
I think it also ties up with my childhood, bro. Because it's like, if you don't have friends and you didn't have anyone you were close to, then you have no one to talk about stuff with. So now I think that's why it's difficult for me to talk about, you know, me, my feelings with. Because it's just like, I never have, bitch. And I remember one time I got better help with all the fucking ads and everything. I got better help. That shit is a waste of money to me. It might not be a waste of money for you, but it was a waste of money to me, but. Oh my god. What was I talking about before? This is why I, I can't do videos like this, but we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm actually really, like, oh, that's what I was talking about. So I did film this three times. The first time I cried, I sobbed. It was only the audio, too. I sobbed, I, pff, I kept bringing up things that I knew would make me cry, and I did cry, I'm a crier, I'm a fucking, I'm a Pisces moon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I am, but I'm not, yeah, anyways. And also, I, part of me feels like I'm empathic, a little bit, just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, because I'm not gonna get into that, shut up. So, second time I recorded it, I felt, I, it just felt weird, because, YouTube for me is such a happy place for me like it's just a place for me to do like have fun and just kind of just post I don't do like crazy edit I don't do editing in, in general I just clip and cut and then paste whatever like I, I do minimum minimal editing because at the end of the day I just like watching myself on screen that I know that sounds conceited as fuck but I just like doing things and then showing people what I'm doing, I guess you would say. I like that. It makes me happy and I'm not doing anything that- or not talking about anything or not doing anything that makes me sad. Like, I'm just, you know, having fun and doing, like, something that I like to do. And I- I always said to myself I didn't want to bring something, like, a topic like this to YouTube because I feel like- I don't- like, YouTube already, I feel like, is already dying. And back in the day, like, when I was a kid and I was watching YouTube all the time, YouTube really helped me because it was just such a fun place. Like, I would watch like, Mythical Morning, uh, with, the, like, the Willet series. I would watch Jenna Marbles. I have my favorite YouTuber, Pink Sparkles. I used to watch her all the time. She was just- I think she's a very- a good person, inspirational-wise, I think- she really helped me currently i i don't know i haven't watched her recent videos but i used to watch pewdiepie like i would watch jenna i think i said jenna marbles marbles i just i felt like youtube was so happy but now everyone is so money hungry with youtube and trying to do whatever makes the most money and making like short videos to make a lot of money or they're spending a lot of money to make money or like, I, I guess you'd say my YouTube videos are kind of boring or lazy, but I try to keep my energy up. I don't know, but I don't, I don't know, like, YouTube back then was just really, it was just really good. It was just really good. Like, people were doing challenges, people were just having fun, people were just talking about, like, I guess, I think PewDiePie said this before, P YouTube used, used to be just, like, introverts who have no friends and are really awkward in social si situations just making videos. That's what it was. And I, I think that's why a lot of people liked YouTube and c can connect with it. But now just YouTube is, like, filled with, like, extroverts going to parties and getting ready to go to a party or something. And I, I don't know how to relate to that because I'm not like that. Like, I don't like parties at all. They scare me because I don't drink and I don't do drugs. So realistically, what am I going to do at a party? Plus, I have a boyfriend. I'm not looking for anyone. Um, and I don't have friends to go with. So it's kind of just like, why would I go? So it's hard to relate to the current YouTubers now because it's just... I don't... Maybe I'm just not correct. I don't know. I am just not evolving like everyone else. You know, like, I'm gonna bring this up just because I just thought about it earlier. There was a TikTok where people were saying, like, put, like, stick a picture of your younger self on your mirror so you, whenever you're feeling bad about yourself, you think about what you're doing to the younger version of you. I don't get it. I don't get it at all. 
Hold on, I need, I need war. I'm like dying. Like, I don't get it because at the end of the day, that person's me. And like, I don't see myself as that person anymore. I may. And part of me always feels like I'm just the same person. I'm always going to be the same person. And maybe I'm, I'm very gift or not gifted. I'm very privileged to say that I've never had issues, like severe issues, I would say. What am I talking about? This is so off topic. I apologize, but I don't know. Like, I just, I, end of the day, I don't want to bring something negative to YouTube because that's like the least of what, that's the last thing people need, in my opinion, because I feel like dreams are starting to die, especially for people who just, you know, like, I think dreams are just dying, you know, with this economy, it's awful. Like, it's awful, bitch. I don't know. I don't know, bro. But, at the end of the day, I I personally have been watching YouTube videos. Let me pull them up, actually. I'll show you guys. Or not show you guys, I'll talk about it. Um, I have them all saved in my um watch later because i do like to watch them later let's see um where are they oh wait i need to go further down see like right here is letting go is hard eight things you should never tell anyone let it happen your new life is gonna cost you your old one why i have no friends in 19 if you see this video you are ready how are you feeling or how they feel Oh my god, wow. Did you get enough love? <laughs> um, what's the most painful thing you've ever been told? Like, I've been just... <sighs> Part of me wants to just not talk about the fact that I have feelings, but at the same time, it's like, everyone has emotions, and you should talk about emotions. But at the same time, I don't want to that to be the only thing Because I'm- I like feeling happy. I love when me being happy makes other people happy. I love that. Like, I love that joy and laughter spreads. Like, it's just- it's like a fucking disease, I would say. But I like that. But at the same time, it's like, you can't just ignore the fact that maybe you're not happy. Or maybe that you're just doing whatever you're doing to feel like- people need you i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about at this point bro i don't know <sighs> oh, fuck. oh i don't know if i would oppose this i'm sure because this is gonna be unedited i don't know like this there's a reason why my videos are really long like i film for a long time i talk a lot i yap a lot and cutting three hour videos down to 13 minutes is really hard I hope you do it. I hope you guys know that because my delusional ass, my conceited ass thinks I'm so fucking funny and I try to keep every clip in, but I'm not funny. A lot of clips are not funny. And then when I watch the video back, I'm like, damn, like this video could have been way shorter and it should have. It should have. But I was delusional at the time. So whatever. Okay, so I know this is going to be fucked up. This is fucked up to do, but this was kind of a promotion. Um, this is a really poor promotion, though, but I'm starting a podcast. Oh, it's so disgusting to say. I know. I don't even know if I'm going to add this part in here, but starting a podcast, why? Is because, like I said before, I want YouTube to be a happy place. I want YouTube to be the fun place. And I don't want, like, I'm not saying that I don't want emotions on it or I don't want feelings to be here or things we can't talk about to be here like that's not my intention of saying i'm just saying like when i was a kid youtube helped me because it was just full of fun and joy and happiness and i want it to continue that way eventually at one point and so i still want to talk about feelings obviously or i need to get used to talking about feelings i guess you would say and so i'm making a podcast i don't know if i'm going to put it on youtube and 
the other podcast platform i don't even know where it's gonna go but i just think it's important to not only be happy and spread happiness but also talk about the hard parts of life and emotions and feelings and humans you know so my podcast is gonna be called sock sog with me so cringe and the album art is actually kind of funny i don't let me try to pull up a photo while i'm also talking about talking about it so my podcast mainly is just gonna be me talking about pretty much anything um literally anything but the main point is just to talk about things that are really hard to talk about and then i wouldn't prefer to talk about on youtube for the reasons that i mentioned so i don't know i'm excited about it because i know i'm I shouldn't start one because on YouTube, I feel like a lot of people who start podcasts have a big following and that's the reason why they're starting one. But I've always wanted to start a podcast. I just like hearing people talk and people's perspectives on things and I like just hearing people speak, especially when, like I said before on YouTube, you kind of show a different part of yourself and then on podcasts, you kind of just speak from the heart because how can you really script a podcast you can tell when someone sounds robotic i would say so i've always wanted to start one but i know it's kind of ridiculous because my following isn't that large but i don't really care i like the community i've made on youtube a lot of i the people who comment make are so sweet and i like i don't explain it like it's just it's nice to see when people interact with the videos anyways I'm getting- I digress. Um, whoa, that was a big word for me. But, I I do want to talk about feelings, so I am making a podcast. Mm, I'm trying to learn to just start. Don't overthink it, just do it. Um, if you want to do something in life, just do it, just start it. Um, or take little steps to start it, I guess you could say. So, I'm starting the podcast. I'm planning to only post one episode per month because, like I said, I feel like talking about my feelings not only is good for me, but also takes a toll on me because, uh, like I said before, I'm getting lightheaded just talking about how I feel, bro. It's like... Also, I share a room. It's hard to even record weekly videos because it's hard to just get the room to myself or get a room to myself so i don't know we'll see we'll see (sighs) also oh here's the album heart album art oh my god if it'll focus it looks like this i think it's cute i think it's simple it's cute i made it myself i was gonna pay someone to do it but then i was like oh i got no money i should just make it myself so i made it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed and i apologize if this is kind of stupid and fucked up to do a promotion video like this but i wasn't even gonna do a promotion i was just gonna start posting but at the same time i feel like i've delayed this video a long time like i've always had this idea in my head that i was gonna talk about feelings on youtube at least once but i always didn't but I really, really want to. And like I said before, just do it. Just do it. Just like Shia LaBeouf said, just do it at the end of the day. Just do it. So I'm doing it. And we'll see if we post it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm sorry it's long. It's unedited. And I wanted this to be raw. Oh, it freaks me out. But yeah, please like, comment, subscribe. Talk about anything in the comments Uh, thank you guys so much for commenting by the way the people who comment like i swear to god like that just in itself even if it's hate thank you it it means a lot when people feel like they need to interact with the video it makes you really happy um but yeah i hope you guys have a great day be kind to everyone kindness i think could make everything do everything fuck i hate that i can't edit this i wanted to but yeah just be kind um you have no idea what people are going through and you never know you know maybe one day when you're not kind it could be someone's like we're (laughs) shut up shut up no more some sentimental things anyways but yeah have a great day or night be kind like i said and have a great day love you guys